I am Dr. Roberts and I teach sixth grade global studies at NSU University School. We have been talking about the hardness for weeks. We had been preparing for a discussion on social classes. Can we live in a society without social classes? And how do we perceive each other? If we do get to that part where we would, um, we would be considered equal, it still wouldn't be uh, until like 200, 300 years from now. So right now, we can't live in a classless society. Everybody's gonna have different beliefs and it's gonna be incredibly challenging to just call everybody equal when we're really not. So I think it also helps them to become um, more of a responsible citizen, to be aware of what's going on around them. I like to say outside of the bubble and that to recognize that it affects each of us. So we may not be touched personally, but we have a responsibility. So I think that's what hardness allows them to do. It empowers them. It allows them to look beyond, to look at the bigger picture and look at social issues. How does it impact us? And then what can I do to make a difference? For the doll in India, um, in the video, they try ripping their way up and it, and it said that it's banned, it, the, um, the caste system is like banned, but people still treat them like there is a caste system still. The people in India, like, they're like born into this caste, like they can't like work to like be moved up to the higher class, like they have to be in that class for the rest of their life. Like, as, yeah. oh, yes, we have freedom to work up to be something great. They don't get a choice. Like we have so many opportunities to become something great and successful, but they are just born into a caste and can't do anything about it. When we moved to the alternative educational plan, that was still a thought. Can I indeed have a hardness? And I have to say they stepped up. They were respectful. They listened to each other. They spoke one at a time. We did not have to intervene at any point. No matter where we stand, what you say, we always will have our separate opinions. We will always divide ourselves into certain uh, groups that accept certain things. You want to hear something, you tend to have an attraction towards hearing it. They're really engaged when we have a heartless discussion. And what I found using this platform is that students were more comfortable. And so they were eager to share. I don't know if it was the comfort of their home that made them participate more, if it was a topic, a combination of both, but they were truly engaged. And so we had a successful partners. The result was fascinating. 